opening ceremony, um, Hoka Une 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 Une, where right, as they pronounce them, One One. Um, a cool shoe, man. Again, um, I, I'm sure a lot of people that wear hookers, especially um, non runners, tend to get them because of the collaborations they've done. I think they've done a good, was it United United Arrows? Some Japanese retailer did them first. A short triple black shoe that was really popular with a lot of um, uh, street style of a lot of uh, fashion YouTubers and shit. But uh, these sort of like take the same premise as those. You have them in a sort of boot model that I think a lot of people favor and in completely white or off white sort of color. It looks really cool. Opening ceremony, I've not really heard of opening ceremony too much in it. They've been a bit quiet lately, isn't it? Remember, they were they were doing every collaboration under the sun. Maybe they're, they're trying to maybe put rain things back in a bit and bring things in house, but. They were really big on the scene, man, for a while. Vans, collaborations, like all sorts of nonsense, innit? They seem to have kind of took their foot off the pedal a bit. Maybe it's purposely done, but this is a news from Hype Beasts. The hook it, un one one, is how you pronounce it, right? Uh, taps opening ceremony once again for a sleek, tall, ultra high boot. Like, again, probably one of the favored models, I think, in streetwear and sneaker world. I've seen a couple of collaborations of these. Actually, I'm pretty sure someone else did a, 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 a tall, ultra high. Let's see if we can find this on high because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not wrong here. There's a few other collaborations that have happened with this tall, ultra high. Um, yeah, so there's one here, the triple black. That's the one I've seen everyone wearing on, on street, on kind of the fashion YouTubers. And there's another one too. I think it was United Arrows, right? Hoka on it. On let's see. I think it was a Japanese brand. Let's see what Japanese brand just collaborated with them. There's yeah. There's two tone one. The kind of military colorway. Then there was a collaboration with a brand. There's an engineered garment. So they did a collaboration with um Hoka. And then you've got another this the other colorway that everyone was wearing again. That kind of weird gray colorway engineered garments again. That's it, right? Jap just Japanese. Okay. Very on brand. But this is the opening ceremony one we're talking about here. So again, um, you've got this tall ultra boot high in a sort of off-white sort of colorway, like a sail-y kind of color, which I like the, I like the look at. Instead of it being just triple white, you've got these nice little off-white panels on the side of them, which look really cool. I love the shoot itself. This dude wearing a, a sort of string vest with a white, with a gray suit, which looks perfect. I wonder if the suit is a is an open ceremony suit too, or just a suit they've done. They just pulled from the, the, the stuff they got on the buying racks. But yes, yeah, a really nice model, man. I like how they look, especially with the suit. Actually, it's such a good little um, clash. This essential shoe that's essentially more of like an athletics cross cross training shoe or cross running shoe, and it's paired up with like a nice tailored suit. I love the contrast between those two. To be honest, it looks really nice. Um, let's go back to the article. Um, after opening ceremony, joined athletic brand Hooker on it for a two total takes in the Bondi Five. The duo have teamed up once again for a fresh update on the. Okay, what's the Bondi Five they did? I didn't. I don't remember seeing that. What was that one? Hmm. Is that what we just saw? That kind of low shoe. What's a Bondi? Okay, so oh, they did them on the low as well. So they're just taking that same sort of inspiration and put them in a high, which looks probably a little bit better than the low. Um, merging utility and style, the hiking boot receives a sleek update upgrade with a hookay trail running comfort and traction. Arriving in a white Nimbus cloud colorway, the sturdy boots, the full grain leather, and a textile upper with a faded hooker branding for increased traction and support. And grip the boot is suited with a triple density midsole and a vibrant mega grip outsole. The flexible collar finishes on the look and providing ankle support without added restrictions with event lining that allows your extra breathability and weatherproofness. But yeah, I love them, man. Retaining a 260 USD, the Open Ceremony Hooker Ultra 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 Boot will be available to purchase on the site, on their site in the Open Ceremony. Yeah, but definitely one of my favorites, man. I love this. Really good way to end the year, isn't it? When are they going to be available? Uh, February 2, oh, okay, February the 6th. So next year, again, another big shoe to check out next year when the season starts to spring up a bit. But yeah, they'll look great. Not sure if um, sneakers are going to like them because they, they, they're probably they're going to catch a lot of dirt similar to the, again, I mentioned the Miles Yards <laughs> so many times. You can tell it's one of my favorite shoes of the recent years, but they definitely catch a lot of dirt in the midsole. So it's not a shoe to keep super clean. But I think in terms of, you know, these are this is a perfect shoe for Fashion Week. If you're perusing around Paris Fashion Week, going from show to show, being on your feet all day long, and you want a couple of versatile shoes just to wear all day, maybe a smart pair of, you know, I don't know, Chelsea boots or something or a pair of tassel loafers would be quite really cool. And then maybe a, a nice chunky pair of, you know, hooky on a, you know, especially highs will go really well in most outfits with some, you know, tailored pants or some bagger pants will look pretty cool. Even skinny jeans will look pretty cool. And these, I know it's sacrilege to say skinny jeans now because everyone's offered them, but they look really cool and some slimmer profile of jeans as well. But yeah, definitely check those out, man. A really cool colorway, that really cool collaboration. I'm a big fan of these. I like how